it's good mm-hmm. that we have um instrumentalists and we have mm. you know um a singer mm. and you being a lead especially there's the type of way you you create your music and mm. you want your music to sound mm. but there's also what the band will come behind and mm. try and either mm. meet that or you know co-create and see how to yeah. balance yeah. how does that usually fit and blend together i Is think it, i think for me it's it's, uh, it's about the particular individual and yeah. in terms of the style of how you guys work your music together and and two things here i'm, I'm going to say one uh, one consists two things one it could be i have an, a song idea and i say like in a money during rehearsal that this is what I was feeling, and Akina Mani will help me to sort of build that kind. Because no one is ever t- knows everything at here. Yeah. And as a kuja, and a, a yeah. prince, a kuja say me, cheza iwe, cheza iwe, cheza iwe, alafu, what will follow. You have, people have to help you. Mm. Two, it could be something that we've probably already recorded with, let's say, a producer, and it's it's for me to want them to learn the song, sometimes from a time point of view, and they're like, yo, this song is dope, and they'll obviously build the song. But it's very important for musicians to also understand this is the most important bit. So I feel, mm-hmm. I feel that covers like, in a depend na wewe na relationship yako na vinye wona pe na kutengza mziki. But ile ya muhimu sana is the as the musician as a singer, uh, or the lead d- decides that they want to have a song together with the band. It's very important for them to actually understand that that's that your that's people's creativity. That's their copyright. Mm. So it's very important for you to either have an understanding with the band that number one. Are they gonna share in the copyright of that particular song, um, whether it's from a spreadsheet point of view, or it's from you know when you're when you're uh, re- um, registering the music or all that stuff, they have to be involved because they cannot. There's if if he creates a particular chord for your song that sounds like this is taboo. There's no way he's eighty years old and he's never could learn a shilling from Sutra's taboo. Mm. It just doesn't make any sense. So you have the openness is very important. Yeah. As much as you want them to help you, I think I say this because as artists, we only choose to be right up to a certain point. Alafu yu ingine wasani wajipange. So unakamu narakisha wase tizi walangomea kompia. But I'm not understanding ya ingomu na ipeleka api. Like what's the point? So I think yu kutu lazima watu wangele. And no matter what register the song, make sure you put a money played the bass. A man he played the drums. Eugene played the whatever, and he also sang some BGVs. He helped in creating that. So I think that's very important because, yeah. in terms of style, honestly, people have very different styles of how they come up to the final song. People like Shade, you know, people think Shade, um, and I speak I speak about her a lot because the music and even the way they live their lives was very intricate. Shade was not just the musician; the whole band was called Shade. Band. So they'd write music. Her, her husband in the in the band. And she'd come in, period, just sing, because yeah. they also had they also had a responsibility to create big songs and hit songs for her to be able mm. to carry them. Mm. So I think that's important. When you do things like those, it makes these guys. Manze, akuna ituwe mumu kama kufanya swa furai. Amani shala la usiku akwamianto ni kona idea. Why? Because anajua you have his back. So I think that's very important. Yeah, yeah. I think that touches then to some very pertinent things. And you're looking at the business side of the industry. So one, what should we is there is there a body where you're supposed to register either as an instrumentalist or as a as an artist as a musician um what do you need to register are there when you do now certain things you've gone to a studio someone has called you or you're doing a song or you're playing or you're creating new music what are those things that people need to know that they need to do so that then they know um you know when i come when you come into the studio and i sit here and i play you know, this is how you're counting for the time that I'm putting in. What What are those things that I uh, have to know? Because I don't think everyone then knows that those things, first, do they exist? And what are they? And how do you get... I, I might sound biased here. <laughs> I'm like, <okay> for two. <laughs> Priest can mpake. Yeah. Uh, mpake because it replaced uh, MCSK. And they seem to be innovative in the new ways of dealing with copyright issues. But Prisk had been there handling that issue. Mm. Where if you're called to studio to play, it needs to be clear from that point. Yeah, I'm playing a song. Um, what percentage am I liable to get for putting in all the keys arrangements for mm. you? Uh, you're entitled to 10%. That's a conversation most of us never have yep. with the artists. Mm. Uh, I think even before even that conversation, not most musicians have rec- uh, mm-hmm. sen- signed up with Prisk. Mm. So it needs to start from there. Um, details are online. You yeah. can do that easily. Yeah. And that laziness needs to end of, you know, like, 
like enda yeah. kwa hizo pia usanii yeah. like there also must be a balance yeah, between yeah, yeah. usani na showbiz yeah. showbiz ni hii hii eh andoa metunga eh andoa ni beshte amani myself that's showbiz but if amani and i have a song we have to go and to co-op to end your prisk go register yeah. because there's also ile usani ya wewe spanga malaini sijuweze na kama ofisi that we, are, we haven't reached there <laughs> we, so go if you have if you didn't make a million dollars from yeah. spotify last yeah. year yeah. please end up on the line because just go and out just say we see rihanna una billion streams not your billion streams rihanna only gets eight yeah. percent you know because she signed to a label yeah and so it, th- those processes like another thing as being an artist we have to say and the thing i've learned with this river road artist na even things we learn from our parents aibu haya tuachan nayo toa hiyo aibu ya oh if it's your product take it mtu ana kama ngombe anachukua mazi yake unajua kuna mnyana anapeleka truck mzima na mnyana anapeleka ndogo hivi yeah. anapeleka mpaka pale kwa ule msi ana distribute aandikishe achipewe apewe karatasi aende nayo ndio siku ya kulipwa you will have a say mm. so a lot of times we also complain then you you know we've gone to meetings where artists complain alafu The, the, um, you know even i think some corporates are nice like priest or whatever man they look at the thinking and what are they just start to come just look at you like this guy hasn't even registered yeah so you have to no one owes you anything just yeah. and if you don't know ima uliza eugene eugene may not have time to tell you to come for tz but this you whatsapp him at atakwambia eh okay call who demo priest mm. atakusaidia amani will tell you eh atia tu amesema nini utambiwa alex kabla uchukue 10k ya ku record your session make sure we sign ile kitu So those are those things are those important are things. and you know we those are not even things we should tell people because then also I think every artist has a responsibility to seek that information yeah. let's not be too lazy like he said a very good word balance hmm. balance I am a great musician but I also care about my business yeah mm. okay at times when you even go and perform it's what the artist says hey by the way even though to me get so even the owner na kuge how has that has that has that picture and has that story changed especially the story of nakug experience una land ndo ufike pale where you playing come play for me i mean has that picture changed to today how do you determine what i'm worth how do you say this is what if i'm playing for you this is what you pay me and if you don't well and good i mean what how is how, how is that picture looking like today i have a story in two ways number one is first of all the gaps we have here one big gap I- we have is how do the young people get big platforms um, i'd want to say there are big people who what is a pl- platform for me platform might be somebody who made it in the industry for instance if Ka- Ka franklin endorses you that's a platform nobody needs to argue about that mm. everybody will go and seek who is this person who Ka franklin is endorsing mm. It's the same thing that we need to do. As you grow in the industry, there's somebody who looks up to you and thinks you are good to them. Making a small endorsement to them would be a platform for them, an eye opener for them, a raised platform for them. That's one of the channels that actually literally just brings revenue to some people. Mm. Um in our Kenyan atmosphere it might be a man is playing at a wedding somewhere very ah the royal wedding the <laughs> <laughs> <a> black choir <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. and he probably was there you know we didn't see the, the band yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 as if you saw the choir that means I, I you were there i just came back <laughs> yeah. you know your humble name you know like you came back for this okay. session it's just another yeah. Yeah. just another day in the office yeah. Yeah. yes give back to my robes yeah. <laughs> so he plays four songs and says uh for the two songs that are remaining have a small brother of mine i want him to yeah play so people are like eh, for real but the small bro actually comes up and plays very well mm. that's a platform open platform for this guy opened for him yeah so to the second one i have to say there's money in the industry and there's no money it all depends with your attitude how do you look at it what is your approach so those guys who go like kila gig naenda kucheza my friend bora tu nimefungua drumstick hivi lazima nilipwe that's not always the approach mm. but your mindset behind it what your motive what your drive is might lead you to bigger platforms where you have more money i'll give you a personal story i used to play in church for pay and 
let me tell you that money was never enough why because i was always motivated because at the end of the month i know i'll get a There's paycheck yeah. yeah my biggest break came when i surrendered that paycheck as in the opposite instead of looking for money i now cut it out and said i don't want to be paid a church i want to play for free a church because i'll give my all that mentality of giving your all whether there's money or not, not. is the ma- is a, the motive that actually brings you to people who see you see your heart and that actually pay you more because of your motive and your approach to things and i can say i've made more money ever since i stopped playing a church for money it's a mentality thing it's a mindset thing but at- attacking it from a business angle it has to do with your presentation your branding your your skills your personal discipline um which most of us fail with mm. it's it's not even the 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 money that we want for instance if cook studio say they're paying somebody 300k per session i don't think they would make the biggest decision based on your skill the biggest decisions would come on your time keeping yep your, your your versatility as you don't say like, mm. what 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 kind of music do you listen to we mm. are a product of what we listen to mm. uh touching on the creativity that mm. we're talking about you cannot create that which you've never seen before so it, it all boils down to how much music are you listening to who do you feed off from that builds onto your platform uh, portfolio to say eh, when i call a money i know my salsa gig is sorted my r&b gig is sorted my hip hop gig is sorted my seven gig is sorted and most of us do not package ourselves well enough for people to know that we are branded for that whole some mm. product mm. yeah so there is money in the industry there is i mean there is money i've seen people making a lot of money out here with only three chords while people who play black gospel have no money to even get bus fare home the approach is all that matters yeah Yeah. That's really true because you know a lot of times um someone will be like oh we ha- they go and anika and tour our money at be you dare tell this artist that akuja kucheza akufungulia your gig for free you, you know and at the back of the story you're thinking like this gig had like 100 corporate private corporate clients y'all don't even understand that this kid got probably four gigs just from playing that day mm. i am even putting my own work uh, you know out on the, on the at, at least because i'm putting this amazing kid on 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 stage and also again individualism if you are a genuine musician who wants to get something from Am- amani who wants to get something from eugene do it on your own terms and in your own belief mm. don't let anyone tell you eugene drives this kind of a car so he should be able to pay you 50k eugene probably bought that car from a gig he did and he got a million but from that gig doesn't mean he's walking around with money it's your job to understand if you want to get skills from amani get the skills from amani because people always argue about this uh, thing about exposure and whatever the three of us to be honest you can't tell us you give us a gig for exposure yeah. but if you tell me to play at the royal wedding give me that exposure any day in fact let me sing in the sun for more exposure i will sing outside there because i know there's a billion people watching the royal wedding and they'll all shazam me and they'll all look for me but when i do so i will not expect anything from anyone whether it's a handshake whether it's a whatever it's what i take with that opportunity and i think yeah. people confuse this thing about exposure yeah. Da, 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 da. Yeah. you have to be deliberate you know what me and what i want for my money i'm not going to subwa him i'll get my bus fare and ask my auntie i will beg i will go to that gig i will play well mm. i will finish and i will leave so those things must be very people must really understand that yeah you have to you have to really, if you want if you want it get it and stop listening to people about amani's leave amani's wallet alone leave it he's given you a chance you go do it go do it yeah and and yeah, i'll even give an example of someone like noah who's recording the sound here who have worked it since 2009 and noah were doing a gig called paragasha at club sound and would get money from the gate tickets and would split between the band and noah and myself because after time obviously you have to take it, take care of everyone and we would do like the dinners and all those things and even when they had like a few speakers consistently doing that gig whether there's 20 people or 100 people it's rain people have run away or it's rain people are mejau kondani to the last gig we did until life and noah 
came in as a sponsor and the amount of money that I would have paid him, Noah paid me instead in terms of the equipment that he brought because he understood the vision that, listen, me and I can sing. I'm tired of uh, just putting up a show and uh, I perform for corporates or whatever. But can we do a show, you know, where I'm changing clothes? Like I'll change clothes five times. This set is like this. Set looks like this. You know, we have a few clips playing in between. You do this with a sound. We'll have a solo. So he bought in that vision. Yeah. He wanted to. He wanted to make sure he's a part of that thing that was done very differently by a Kenyan artist. Yeah. So if it was about uh, exposure, I want my exposure. No, I would have put his equipment or whatever. I wouldn't have afforded him. Yeah. So people have to. I'm um, say you took The reason I'm speaking a lot is because I think young people really confuse exposure for being used. Mm. And the truth <laughs> is, come out take your exposure. By the car, Jubado mini Antona we sikuju. If I was to really be honest, mm. yeah. So it's all. So you have to be very. It's. Um, I think that's what it's too deliberate. It's yeah, deliberate. Yeah. You wanna be like a money, follow in his footsteps and listen to yourself. Yeah. Leave everybody else from your relationship with the money and from being a great drama. What Nani has said about the money, a money having money, a money should have bebad you from town to drop in Westlands. Why? Mm. As who? Who are you? A money yeah. doesn't carry his his music, other musicians. It's not his job to. He doesn't have to. He would do it from a kind place. But he doesn't have to, cause no one did it for him. Yeah. But he's told you to be here at two p.m. Be here at one thirty. Let him find you playing the drums. Let him sit here and watch. Not the other way around. The other so way it's around. the things you do that by the time a money has let you go and he's like, I've washed my hands. You're dope. All these other things are just stories. Pia, the other thing about music in what we focus on music content. E manene ngine mingi ya oh ulicheza na Amani oh alikuwa wapi oh Eugene angekununulia hii oh ali akuhire the right keyboard for do those are just external issues that a lot of times Kenyans and artists were very good at yeah. but were not good at catching eh, kushika chords haraka we jifunze kushika chords haraka wacha kujifunza kujua Eugene alipodonga mm. very <laughs> important I think the bible says it is more blessed to give than to receive mm. So I think most of us focus on, on, on the money side. We don't focus on our gifts and talents. So sometimes you don't give that particular thing 100%. This is my principle. If, you, if, I, can't give, if, it, uh, if I can't give it 100%, then I'd rather not do it. You know, whether it's a free gig, whether it's exposure, mm. if I can't do it 100%, yep. That's, I mean, I'd, I'd rather not do it. Yeah. So if you have an opportunity to play, if someone is using you or not, mm. go give it 100%. Mm. You watch what, what's going to happen after True. that. Because when you give it 50 or 20%, mm-hmm. then you're going to get 20% back. Yeah. Press down, shaken together, and running over, over. And running over. But if you give it 100%, yeah. um, that has helped me personally. Because, mm. I mean, I there are people that I didn't think I would work with ever in my life but you see every opportunity that I got mm-hmm. I did I, I decided that I will give it a hundred but I will play I will play like that's my last time to play and I mean opportunities kept on opening up opening yeah. up you know yeah. and that has been the principle whether it doesn't matter what happens give it your hundred percent if Antonio call, if Antonio so calls you right now and he says, "Mazin ah, kona iki, mazin haina do, lakini mazin opportunity fit. Go give it a hundred percent. Play like play. you're playing for a million people, mm, you know, mm. and then see what's gonna happen after that. Yeah. But learn to give it your best, your all. We live in moments, mm. so use that moment wisely. Like, give it a hundred percent, leave it there, go do something I love else. It. I love fantastic, that. fantastic. I love that. You touched on something, Eugene, and and and." And uh, I don't know how controversial this may be, but you know, just touching on on uh, you know playing in church, and a lot of us do actually. Um, but there's <laughs> there are two things that come out today, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and 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 if you visit different churches and you sit sit in on praise and worship, there are some where you actually do connect with the purpose that it's supposed to to deliver, connecting you, you know, to get into the space. But there's somewhere you feel like this feels like I went for a concert somewhere, you know. So has has praise and worship in church been diluted 
somehow because then there's more focus on the delivery in terms of performance and not what it's actually supposed to create in the space at that time in moment and then two i mean the guys would say you're being called hey maze drama you to leo leo how is it make i'm our guitarist cannot come can you come and play then the first thing a guy will ask you hey you know so what's 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 your take on 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 that especially when when it comes to playing in church and the third thing about it is so is there um in so one one day you're playing in church the other day you're being seen in a certain club playing the next day you're moving all over is there is there a line to be drawn somewhere in regards to that or no check your heart yeah read your heart generally check your heart if your heart is for god even if you play what kind of gig if your heart for god it will be seen but if your heart is not for god mm-hmm. whether you're called to a club church itself you'll play in church and look like a church person but your heart if it's not for god eventually it will be seen you will know them by their fruits so it's not a matter of playing in a club is wrong or playing in church is wrong check your heart first mm. your heart sells more than what you actually do out here and i think most musicians in church are baffled with the question can i play in a club can i play in a hotel truth is you might be put in a position where you need to play but if your heart is for god you will go and play it and leave as soon as you do it i have friends who've done it consistently and their hearts are still straight but those people who whose hearts are not in the right place you went to church because church pays well hmm. now you go, you get a gig in a club somewhere they pay you very well ah church ikai bana ikai eh so check your heart then also know yourself hmm. like myself i know i never play in any secular gig come rain or sunshine pay me 3 million pay me 10 bob and come uh, that's my stand it's not everybody else's stand it's a personal, it's a personal stand yeah. so know yourself and stick to who you are mm-hmm. yeah be true to yourself doesn't hurt first question you talked about praise and worship almost being like a production and losing the sense of worship worship yeah it ends up being a concert there has to be a balance that's my take literally there just has to be a balance i hate to walk into a church where every sunday it was led by the spirit <laughs> yeah there's that <laughs> people are not your skillful. videos you can you in there than that so people are not skillful one yeah but also the worship leaders and the whole church culture is that of to turn a stage the spirit will guide us hey. eventually you literally just sound terrible very bad this is what i say prepare and prepare hard but if any eventuality happens on sunday and there's a diversion spiritually speaking take that turn yeah. be flexible for that but at the essence of it prepare because even god himself he's orderly he prepared before he launched adam into this world he took six he days to prepare for oh. him oh. so preparation is important but oh. what happens after preparation is what churches are missing now be sp- open to spontaneity in the spirit after that yeah and and the people and the people you know people will get up when they know that i that I, I led praise and worship once like when when uh, Nairobi Chapel was moving into all these interesting branches and there was one at um Uku it's called Parkland Uko mm. and um and I used to lead praise and worship and one of the things and especially with the times that we have now yeah um is you know it's a thing that we also do as fans we're too critical of music like you listen to a song by a foreigner you don't break down the chords you listen to an Antonio Soul song you said I, I a fan who's never been to a music class and I say my guitar ngi chaza na nani these are drums ninge prefer money so that thing when you go to church even your intention as the congregation must be proper your intention is to come and worship and praise god and and i believe that great or however you call it a concert or whatever whatever i believe that that atmosphere allows for the spirit to flow because then it must be it must you must create an amazing atmosphere for people to be led there you just can't come as as the congregation and you immediately want to know why the guy is playing the chords too well 
and you feel like that's stopping you from getting to the spirit, it means you are you shouldn't even have gone to church that day. So we must also look at ourselves critically and see, fine, I have a problem with the way they play, but what about me? Mm. What is stopping me from being in a in an Arab country and not praising God? It's the same thing. Being an Arab country or a country that only has atheists, but you stand and continue to praise and worship your God. So why is that an issue? And I believe, if you ask me, that is a devil really clearing you away from the purpose and the intention of church, which is you have an amazing uh, pool of musicians playing for you. Your job is to allow the spirit to flow, not to discern how the music is being played and why it's being played. And if it's about like who is playing for, um, uh, you know, if Sidri Nani plays in a, in, in, in a club or whatever, I think it's also a responsibility for church now to create this moments and these opportunities for young people to use those instruments to create a conducive environment from Monday to Saturday. You have moments to be able to train these kids who probably might not be able to afford. You can hire Eugene to train the, all these amazing instrumentalists, these amazing pianists. So use that so that you grow the talent also from the church. So rather than looking for amazing dramas outside of the church, you have a pool of great musicians, and that's also one of the ways to bring these young people to church, where they are involved in the church itself, and then you grow them. So they feel part and parcel of this church. Because the truth is, if you do not have an amazing drama to play and he's unwell, you will call a money. It's, it is what it is. You will just have to call a money because the same congregation which complains about uh, the praise and worship sounding like a concert will complain if there's no drama that day. <laughs> so that uh, what do you do? <laughs> you know, so and, and, and the truth is it might be un, it might be unfortunate, but even as church we generally have to look at our hearts and ourselves. Yeah. Because if a man he will play drum Jana he's come from my gig at Alchemist and on ma- Sunday he's playing at Karura and he takes people to the spirit, that is also a confirmation of the word. That he will use those we do not expect him to use. He's mm-hmm. using him. You know, so and and I also get the idea of Someone, someone like Eugene saying that he can only play in church because also in the Bible, I think it's Peter or Paul who and, 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 and the Christians were f- eating food that was meant for, for pagans or for whatever, for, for gods. And the reason why they were eating that food is because they knew their, they knew their heart. They knew how strong they are. They knew that he, he food in wanapea mungu gani, he's struck lay food. Aguna mungu hapa wanapea food that yata ataku lay food, but they let's take the food. But the ones who are weak could not understand why Christians would take food offered to pagan gods and eat that food. They felt like they were being misled. Mm. So I think there's also the balance of you have to ensure that especially the weak ones in church find a balance. Yeah. But what's your worship? What we worship? And again, I insist to watch easy to extra. To na fanya kwa kanisa na kwa mziki. Wewe enda kwa yo roho na mungu. Wachana na chops za amani. <laughs> hey, enjoy chop ya roho. Ile roho ina kugongo huko ndani. Hiyo ndio spirit tunataka. Hallelujah. I think it's also Sawa pastor. Hey, my friend I'll get it again. I can do I was meant to go Nairobi. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I think it's also the responsibility of the church in quotes. Yeah. Because I think we, 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 I think the church is you and I and someone else, mm. not the building. Mm. Um, I think it's responsibility of the church to actually really take care of 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 of, uh, of musicians, not just financially, but you know, just mentoring them. You know how they live and stuff like that. Because I think most of the times, uh, the church now the building. You know, and the leadership, they are more interested in in what you carry, in what you offer, but not you. Mm. You know, so you they will end up calling you so that you f- you play. When you're done, you'll get your money and disappear. But you see this guy, he's giving from what he has, but he needs something more. You know, he needs to be able to play next time. Mm. But you see, if he's not strong, if he's not mentored, he he will probably do what in his mind he thinks is right while it's wrong. Mm. You see, probably he'll decide, Minta toka church, I think kuku kuna lipa fee. But if um say, wange mentor, 
or when they're like, you know, you can professionally, you can actually do whatever you like. You know, I like play wherever, but you know, just make sure that your heart is into you know, just mm. enter them and because mm. someone like I can use a very good example, someone like Kak William, until today, they have an album that they've done. Uh, they've run covers for Michael Jackson. Yeah. You know. Yolanda Adams does a a lot. uh, You know, and you see, that does not move him from his faith Mm. and his stand. Mm. But because he's been, he's grown and he's been mentored to the point where he knows professionally, this is what I do. This is what I love to do. But when it gets to matters of gospel and Mm. church, this is my stand. He cannot be moved. You cannot move him. Uh, a good another good example is um what's his name Jonathan Butler, Jonathan Butler doesn't only do gospel, gospel. music, is, yeah. yeah, yeah you understand, mm. but it takes time it takes deliberate action for for people to actually mentor musicians. People have asked me now, uh, you know now me I also want to play in clubs. I'm like I have my stand about playing professionally. You have your own life. You pray, talk to whoever, but I'll tell you for free, don't do it because you see a money doing, doing it. No, 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 no. Yeah. You know, like Eugene said, I mean, you have to listen to your heart. If your heart is going to be grieved or there's going to be when some conflicting yeah, yeah, yeah. ideas and thoughts about it, just don't do it. Because mm. in the beginning, in the beginning when I, I started it, started out, it was very weird for me. Mm. But you know, the more the more I continue to play and seek direction, I was very comfortable. Like I'd play finish and I'm like, oh, that was a nice gig. And I go home. Yeah. Content. Mm. You know, and the next Sunday I'll be in church. I play. I go home content and comfortable because in my heart it was it was okay. Mm. Until today. And you know, it's a process because now I do less secular gigs. You know, my prayer was, I don't want to do this club gigs for long. I want them to, I want them to end. Like, I don't do club gigs anymore. You know, like, it's once in a blue moon. Mm. Mm. But it's a process. So it has to be very deliberate for church people to actually mentor these young musicians. We guys have our own role in that. I try and do a bit of that so that, you know, someone doesn't do something because they see someone else do it but from their personal experience and from their personal decision they can be able to make uh, sound sound choices about yeah. their life yeah. about their professional music uh, playing as well so i think it's it has to be something we do for 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 the younger generations because i think they get lost at some point you know uh, because they see things they hear things but no one is really sitting down, uh, sitting them down, um, to tell them this is this is how you do it, this is the way to go. Parting shot that you want to give to our viewers. For me, it's simple. I'd love to say trust the process. The process is never easy, especially musically speaking. You will never wake up playing like a money. It will probably take you ten years. Um, they say in the music world, if you want to have your own sound, you have to do 10,000 hours on your own. So think about your life and put yourself in the 10,000 hours. How much have you accomplished? Before you can walk out and say, I have own, my own sound. So trust the process. Wake up every day. Do the simple, simple things you're doing and be consistent in it. Then um, for those who are there, it's a high time we stopped being caged. It's like people strive to become very big in the industry so that they belong to a class of people who do not talk to the young ones. I'd say we are the people who are up there are the ones who determine how far this industry will go. They're young people who are energetic and full of psych and they they just want a word from you. I'll go back to my Kirk Franklin example. The current latest hit in America is a guy called Travis Green. Travis Green used to go for Kirk Franklin concerts when he was young with a mom. Such a young boy who would not be noticed by Kirk anyway. And one of those events, he just went, the mom took him to Kirk. Kirk spoke over him and said, hey, young boy, keep singing. Do it for God, man, blah, blah, blah. Years later, they met 
and Travis was like, hey man, you really inspired me when I was young and I was looking up to you with a few words you said, mm. like just go out and become great. Small little nothings, but somebody walks up with them and they die with that small encouragement. It's all that we need to do yeah. to any young upcoming artist mm. and look at what that eventuality has led to. Now Travis Glynn is the gospel artist of the year in the States. Kirk Franklin would look back and say, oh wow, so inspired yeah. this guy. Yeah. In such a way that I would not even remember. Mm. Uh, so it's in the little things that great impact is made. Travis Green uh, took a photo with Kirk Franklin and Kirk Franklin, Kirk Franklin wrote there, the gospel music industry is in safe hands. You know, mm. such endorsing him such, completely. Such yeah, an endorsement that, is yeah, you know, so is, big. Yeah. yeah, you know. Yeah. And why Kirk will always be big. Mm. Always be blessed. Yeah. Exactly. Mm. Wow. You know, yeah. Um wow. I think for me, um I'd say um consistency. You have to you have to do that. Uh number two, it has to be very deliberate. Mm. Whatever you do, it has to be very deliberate. Um and my principle do it like you have no other opportunity to do it like if you're a gigging musician if you're seeing if you know whatever you do in the music industry you know if you get an opportunity to do it yeah whether there's money or not do it do it like you'll never do it again and whenever you have an opportunity to 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 know to, to endorse someone raise someone i mean do it because you're not gonna be there forever you know like Kirk Franklin he's 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 active here yeah? but he's not as active as he was you know so the younger generations that that's uh, that's the generation that's taking over now so you have to like raise these people you know lead them in lead them in the right direction and whenever you whenever you're out there you'll actually be proud that you know they are that's where you you were is not where you, 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 you will be at that point, mm. but there's someone who's actually following in the footsteps and he is doing maybe better than you even, yeah. you know. So you have to raise raise the younger generation, hold their hand, you know, talk to them. So for me, especially to the younger artists, uh, know yourself, and even to more, uh, more established artists, you know, and, and it's very cliche, but like Manze, if you and by knowing yourself, it's everything these guys have said. It's take, putting in the ten thousand hours. It's it's knowing who you look up to and and what those people mean to you. But really knowing yourself, individualism. What am I made of? Mm-hmm. What do I believe in? Because you can be the most amazing musician, mm-hmm. but your attitude is stunk. You know when when you are hanging around people, they don't wanna play. They just you know or when you speak with a producer, they just don't want to record you because the way you treat people, know yourself to the extent of how do you make other people feel. And I think that's very important with your music, with your drumming, with your playing the keys, with the way you talk to people. If all that was taken away from you, if the talent was taken away from you, what do you stand for? Mm. What are you then made of? Your your principles, your timekeeping, your paying people on time, your honesty, your openness. I was late to come to the rehearsal, honesty. I was late because I overslept, openness. Those small things that Amani is talking about, they are so important because they build the character of who you are. So when you stand on that stage, even if you have the biggest song, everybody could stand and vouch for you and say, this guy is this kind of a person. Because I believe for me, those are the things that uh, bless people. And I, one of the things I've learned the most that has opened doors for me even later when I really didn't expect this, be nice. Whatever you believe in, I believe in God. Man, say God a changi wat wake. God is in mungu lali. Be nice to people. If you meet a man, da da da, you know, your friends sometimes will even joke with you. And what lunch leo? He probably can't tell you I haven't eaten lunch. Take it a different way. Buy him lunch. Those doors open up for people. If there's a big, maybe Kirk Franklin has a special thing he's doing in Kenya, and I probably know about it. Why should I ngana to get my drama and and that's the image that Kenyans will see. I'll tell you, you know what, Amani, I want to be honest, Kak is doing something in Masaimara, he's recording a video, but he wants it to be done live. And for that particular song, he, I think you could do it. 
be nice to people, open doors for people when you even don't have to. That's when you do it the most. And when you feel like you, Yani, that moment you feel like is when you need to stop, that's when you fight more than everything. Wake up, dress up, and go learn. Go teach. Go do something. But don't ever give up. It doesn't matter how, how hard it gets. Because if these guys didn't give up, to be honest, and if people can't take my word seriously, at least look at these guys. They've been there before me. They've done this. They've traveled. They've done this thing before. And then the guys in the background who we rarely hear about, you have no excuse to stop. You have no excuse to give up. And most importantly, leave all that unto God. Like, understand where your power and where your wisdom and where your talent comes from and understand that you owe it to someone greater than you to do something with it. That's, that's what I'd have to say. Oh, that's fantastic. That's... that's, that's that's, that's, that's right there. That's, 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 that's a word right God, there. <laughs> <laughs>